Is the tube on your wheelbarrow flat? Watch as we change it in five easy steps. How do you replace? Welcome to the shop. First job we got is to get the inner tube, the old one, out of the rim here. Whatever you can do, Henry boys, just grab that tire and pull and get that, feed it all the way off that rim. Just keep pulling on it. It's old, it's broken and shot, so you can't really hurt it. It should slide off that big metal rim there. Get in there and get that tire. <laughs> okay, let's get in here and get this tire. So here it is. What you wanna do is find that old rubber inner tube pull it off, pull it off the rim, you can slide the stem out of the hole, just work it out of there. Now if you inspect it, yep, yeah, you can hear it leaking. Right over here by the, right here by the stem, there's a leak all right there. Now you could probably patch it, you get a little tire patch and stick on there right here, but I don't know if you can see that. That's where it's coming out. Next thing you want to do is locate your new tube. See the new tube here? So right on the tire, make sure that you got the right tire size. So here we got a 3.5 by 8, so we got an 8 inch diameter tire. 350 here, 3.5, and some are 3.5 to 4, some are 4.5. So just make sure you line up and get the right tube. Okay, so don't take the rim off and put the inner tube on. Do not do that. Make sure you get the rim in there first. Okay? Now that you have the rim in there, find the side with the stem hole in it. Well, you can see the rim and the tire. The rim is sticking out. The rim is sticking out on both sides. What we're gonna do is feed the rim in like that. Again, make sure you can see the stem hole. Now, we're gonna feed this in oh so carefully. All we got left is, again, we took the cap off, put that off to the side, don't lose it, and then feed that up in through there. Like that. All right, the next step you wanna do is tuck the rubber inner tire inside the rim, okay? Part of the tire inside the rim. Well, without losing our, without losing our stem in there. Okay. Yeah, that's good thinking. We'll put the cap back on. So, make sure you drop the uh, rim down so the tire's up. Put the uh, tube in, feed the stem through, put the cap on. Now you can see both sides are, are ready, ready to go. Okay. So we got the tube inside the tire. We got the stem popped through the rim. Can you rotate it a little bit and show us the uh, can you show us the stem that's sticking out of the hole there? We got that. Now, if you lay it back down flat again, you can see how the rim is above the tire. 
And then if you look on the bottom side, you can see the rim is outside the tires there as well. So you might have to take a screwdriver, you know, spray it with some water or some lubricant and get it all in there and pry it in there. But on this case, it was pretty easy to do. And next thing is, is to fill it up with some air. Let's go get the air compressor. All right, let's get some air in this tire. Come shooting out, huh? Well, that one didn't, but this small one, it's light. It goes, hmm. All right, let's put some air in this tire. Fingers. Okay, good, good. Sounds good. Sounds good. So we're going to put up to, you know how much pressure to put in here? Up to 30 PSI pounds of pressure in this tire. So it looks like we can put some more in it. Just a little bit. Thanks for watching as Henry and I shared how to change a wheelbarrow tire tube.